think one of the first lessons that many of us learn as children is the importance of keeping a promise. You might even remember the pain of somebody breaking a promise to you. There's a certain shock when that first happens for us as children. Could be a friend, maybe even a parent. And there's that cry that many of us have cried, which is, but you promised. But you promise. We recognize that there is something sacred in a promise. That's because every promise implies a mission. Whenever I promise to do something, I am committing myself to a certain mission, to a certain way of acting, to a certain way of being. And so that could be something as simple as like a friend tells me a secret and I promise to keep their secret. I'm committing myself to a mission to be a good friend. But there is even greater missions and greater promises. Think about one of the greatest promises people can make. Right? I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. There's this promise of marriage, which is sacred. And in marriage, what the two people are doing is they're committing themselves to be on mission together. That now my life is going to be defined by my relationship with you. Well, when we became disciples of Jesus, we promised to be faithful to him. We promised to be on mission with Jesus. And so to be a disciple means everything I say, everything I do, even my very thoughts, I want all of those to be an expression of this mission that I'm on, that I'm for Jesus. And so that means I want to obey him and to do his word. That leads us to our word of life for this month from the letter of James, such a powerful command. James tells us, be doers of the word and not merely hearers who deceive themselves. Be doers of the word. In other words, when I went on mission with Jesus, what I was promising to do was that I would let his gospel, I would let the words of Jesus, the commandments of Jesus, I would let the word of Jesus totally define who I am now. So that when I wake up in the morning, it's because I want to do God's word. And when I'm making decisions throughout the day, maybe how to treat other people or how to spend my free time or what do I watch on TV or what do I read? I want all of that to be shaped by this mission that I'm on, that I belong to Jesus now. And and I've promised to do his word. And, you know, when I go to bed at night and I'm turned to the Lord in prayer to be able to look back over the day and say, you know, today, Lord, I I did your word. I I followed your commands because I promised to do that. When I promised to follow you, Jesus, I promised to do your word. It's not easy. We make mistakes. We're not always faithful to our promises. But here is the good news for us this month. One, the Lord's merciful. (laughs) The Lord's so merciful. And so just like us when we were children, when somebody broke a promise, and we were like, man, but you promised. We probably also learned a good lesson on forgiveness. To say, you know what? You broke that promise. It hurt. But I want to give you another chance. I still want friendship with you. And the Lord does the same for us over and over again. That if we do break that promise to be faithful to him, we can turn to him and knowing that he wants to have mercy on us. But also, we can recognize that the Lord wants to help us. So by God's grace this month, I don't have to somehow keep my promise on my own willpower or my own strength. But I can really rely and lean on the grace of God which is for me and which is with me. So this month, let's recognize the power of a promise. 
the power of this mission that we're on, that we can be doers of God's word, not just hearers, but doers of God's word, spending every single breath, every single moment on mission with Jesus. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to keep up with other great content to help you live your life of unity with God and, and with one another, make sure you subscribe to Focalari Media so that you can continue to live your divine adventure.